So this is the first video I'm taping regarding my solar batch water heater. I'm still in the process of building it. I've got my tank, I painted it black, I got some pipes connected to it. I built my box over here. And it's about almost 9.30 in the morning. Looks like the sun is just starting to come from over the house and uh, reach the box in the position I have it facing south. It's double insulated and uh, I got a lot of I insulated it with fiberglass material and I also insulated it pretty well with this uh, reflective styrofoam stuff. I have a thermometer in there right now. It's probably not reading too much. It's a, it's a little over a hundred right now. Yesterday was the first day that I actually had this glass on it and the thermometer melted. Uh, I believe the thermometer was up to about 200 degrees it gets really hot in here. This is a double insulated glass. It's called Low E. I spent about a, <clears throat> excuse me. I spent about $150 just on this piece of glass alone. But for my design, it was most important that the heat is retained overnight because I take my showers in the morning. So once we get this tank in here, hopefully today, uh, then we can see how hot the tank is in the morning. Okay, it's about 10:40 in the morning now. Came over here to check the temperature. I really need a new temperature gauge because this one isn't quite fit. As you can see it's gone completely around and it is about 180 degrees from the 100 and if you can see it, it's actually back to zero. I think this means it's about 200 degrees in this box right now. But I definitely need to get a better thermometer because this one just isn't cutting it right now. All right, so I've now got my tank inside the box. I've got the piping hooked up. Uh, I've got a hose attached to it just for testing purposes, uh, just to test the pressurized system, see what the temperature is like on uh, the water coming out of the hose. That's the hot out. I uh, put a new thermometer in here. It's towards the end of a pretty warm day. And it's at about 140. It was over 140 a little while ago. But uh, I sprayed some of the hose water out. Actually, burned my hand on it. It's pretty hot right here. Next next step is to plumb this into my house hot water heater, and uh, you know get the CPVC pipes, dig a trench in the ground, send it out that way, and uh, over into my garage where my hot water heater is. All right, well, I finished completely working on this hot water preheater. Uh, I painted it. The last thing left to do is just maybe a little touch-up paint and some molding. But got my tank in here. I've got, it's the middle of the day. Looks like we're pushing maybe 130 degrees right here. I've got my cold in and my hot out. I got them run underground over here out to the side of my house. Underground, they come up right here and they go inside to my hot water tank. And on the inside here, uh, here's my three way valve system. So I can bypass the outside uh, hot water preheater if I want to and run directly uh, from my normal cold in directly into my hot water tank and uh, it's only been running for a few days haven't had a chance to see an electricity bill but hopefully when I get my first electric bill it will be obvious as to why I did this project <laughs> 